former Toronto Police homicide cop, Detective Sergeant Dan Nielsen, has packed it in after 30 years of service with the Toronto Police. He co-led an investigation into the slaying of Sergeant Ryan Russell, who was killed in January last year after being hit by a stolen snowplow. That murder rocked the city. Well, that's a case that, uh, as a police officer, you never want to investigate. You know, you never want to be involved in it. It's, uh, and especially as a lead investigator, uh, both my partner, Detective uh, Mary Varuna, and I, uh, it was very heart-wrenching. Um, from the first call that I received shortly after 6 o'clock on, on the morning of January 12th, um, I went through a number of uh, different emotions. And then, uh, you know, ultimately you have to realize you're going to be the, the lead investigator on it and you, you're going to have to, you have a, a big job to do. He also solved the case of popular barber Chris Thompson, who was slain in his barber chair in Scarborough. But Nielsen said he would have loved to find the killers of Toronto rapper Michael George, who was gunned down in July 2007, and UFD accountant Alan Lantain. I hope one day I get the phone call uh, that they've, uh, they've made an arrest. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael was a, a young man, a nice young man, and talented. Uh, he was a musician. He's actually had music produced by his father since, uh, since he died. Uh, his father, Ed George, uh, has called me regularly for five years, uh, I would say sometimes almost monthly, and uh, just to touch base. And it's a case I really hope that, you know, we're, it, it can be solved. We just need that, that um, information from somebody to take us to the, le uh, to the next level in the investigation. And uh, I really hope for the family that that information comes in, even though I'm, I'm retiring, that uh, the investigation will, will remain active and then uh, it gets resolved at some point. But things are certainly different, I think, than when I joined in 1982. There's far more gun, gun crime now, I think, which is obviously much worse. Um, the laws, uh, cases are become more complicated and more complex for the investigators. Uh, it makes, you know, getting conviction to court much higher. The test seems to be higher. Um, computer crime, uh, technology, so these are all these changes that, is, uh, that have uh, changed police work in the last 30 years that I've seen. And uh, I think for the most part it's better, but there, there, there's certainly different challenges for the, uh, the newer officers that are coming on the service. Good luck, Dan, and thanks for keeping us safe for three decades. Happy retirement. This is Tom Godfrey for the Toronto Sun.